couldn't believe it when I saw this. Pope Francis is praising the president of Ireland. You see him there on the screen. This is President Michael Higgins. And Michael Higgins signed the bill to legalize abortion in what was historically the most Catholic nation on earth, Reverend, the Reverend Isle of Ireland. Um, I'm half Irish myself. It's sad. I remember that happened. A lot of people who weren't even uh, Irish just mourned basically the end of Catholic culture on the island of Ireland. Uh, Higgins did that. He also uh, signed the bill for unnatural unions, marriages there on uh, Ireland. And here's the quote right here. Francis met with him. And here's what Francis said. Today, I did not just meet a man, a president. I met a wise man of today. I thank God that Ireland has such a wise man as its head, referring to head of state. This is disgusting. How can a pope praise a man? I mean, go back in time with Pius V, Pope Pius V and Elizabeth of England. He excommunicated Elizabeth of England. Granted, she was the head of her own church, and there's all kinds of horrible, canonical, heretical, and schismatic things going on. But Michael Higgins, President Higgins, has signed into law the murder of, of babies. And people noted, they maybe did this on purpose, I don't know, but when they signed in the law the ver in 2018, there were, get this, 6,666 Irish babies killed in 2019. And yet Francis is going to praise him as a wise man and thank God Francis is thanking God Almighty that Ireland has a wise man as his head with this man? It's almost like Francis does exactly the opposite of what you would expect the vicar of Christ to do. I um, was reading through Proverbs and this verse caught me right here. Let me move this a little bit. This verse right here. Proverbs 14.6. A wise man feareth and declineth from evil. The fool leapeth over is, and is overconfident. How is Michael Higgins signing into law the legalization of murdering children and the legalization of unnatural marriage, unnatural unions? How is he a wise man? And why would Francis Bergoglio thank God that he is the head of state and calls him a wise man. Like I said earlier, it's almost as if Francis does the exact opposite of what you would expect a Catholic Pope to do, the vicar of Christ to do, the leader of Christendom, the successor of St. Peter. Would Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, say that this is a wise man? Would he praise God the Father that this is the leader of Ireland? Basically, plowing, ripping away the Catholic heritage from Ireland. It's disgusting. As Mother Angelica said, I'm so tired of you, liberal church. You wear the clothes of shepherds and of priests and of bishops and of cardinals and popes. You put on the clothing, you wear the costume, but in your heart, do you represent Jesus Christ, second person in the Trinity? Every Catholic should be upset. Every Catholic should be ashamed that the man wearing white with the white zucchetta on his head said, today I did not just meet a man, a president. I met a wise man of today. I thank God that Ireland has such a wise man as its head. Puh. No. No more. So we're going to pray a Hail Mary. We're going to pray a Hail Mary for this Higgins. Pray a Hail Mary for Francis Procolio. 
that we get back to Jesus, that we get back to truth, that we get back to charity and love, protection of the vulnerable, Protre protection of the mother, protection of the father, protection of the child in the womb and out of the womb, Protect protection of holy matrimony, a man and a woman like Adam and Eve. Let us pray. Nomini Patri, sit fidi, et spiritu sancti, amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, or pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et or mortis nostre. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Nomini Patri, sit fidi, et spiritu sancti. Amen. All right, friends, we got to pray. We got to do penance. I have another video coming out soon on Archbishop Vigano and supporting canceled priest. What if we get into an underground situation? Remember the old priest holes in England and in Scotland? Do you have a priest hole in your house? Could you make a priest hole? Could you set up a beautiful God-honoring altar for the traditional mass in your home? Do you have hosts? Do you have wine? Maybe do you have vestments? Do you have the things where you could host a priest? I'm going to talk about that uh, in the next video. So if you want to hear it, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. That way you'll be notified when I do it. Also, please like the video, give it a thumbs up, and please be my algorithm. Share this video on Facebook for people that need to hear it. All right, friends, pray the rosary every day. Go to confession. Be holy. Catechize your family. Catechize yourself. And remember, oh, and did I say pray the rosary every day? If I didn't, pray the rosary every day. You're not on the team. And remember, our Lord Jesus Christ is the light of the world and the salt of the earth. So go out there and be salty. God bless and Godspeed.